Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, CT5K here, and today we're going to be going over some experimental memory using hex gen redstone. So what you're looking at here is 64 bytes of memory in redstone hexadecimal, which is really impressive on its own given just the size factor of this memory module. But the real interesting thing about this is that the actual memory cell is 2x2 two two stackable. So everyone knows the basic memory cell where you can just power one of these and then it powers the entire thing. But the problem with this is that this isn't really stackable. So if I were to build a second one right beside it, you can see that they start powering each other, which isn't great if we're trying to build two by two stackable memory. So how is it that I'm able to get this into a two by two stackable memory system? While playing around with memory circuits, I found a design that was very promising for building two by two redstone hex memory. So what I did was instead of using your standard one, I created a barrel and had it feed into a comparator. Then I had this feed into a separate comparator also attached to a barrel. This then fed into that loop. When I set both of these to subtraction mode, this acts as a memory cell. Because when this one's set to a value, it's going to subtract this. Meaning this is going to be the knotted value, which is going to be subtracted from that. So as long as both of these are the same value, it's going to act like a single memory cell. So now we have a good memory module that we can stack up vertically with two tall and stack horizontally with it being three wide. But we're shooting for two by two, so how are we gonna be able to compress this down by one more block? Thankfully, barrels have a unique property that allow us to be able to make it two by two stackable. You see, when I power this redstone dust, it's not powering the comparator down here. If I were to feed this into the barrel and then output it over here, you can see that this is powering this redstone dust, but nothing feeding into a barrel will power a comparator or a repeater coming out of it. And with that trick alone, all we have to do is create this wavy pattern with our memory cells and we have a two by two stackable memory. So you can see when I come over here and I give this a power, it controls this memory cell without affecting any of the others. Same goes with this one, and this one, and this one. They all work independent of each other, and if I want to reset or change to any other hexadecimal value, they all work independently. Going back to the 64 byte memory, you can tell that we have 16 cells, each comprised of 4 bytes each. So over here we have the 8 hex values that we can use along with an analog output we can display over here. So currently you can see nothing's coming out of the output line and nothing's being currently fed in. And so if I were to give it a value, let's just say alternating between that, we'll skip this one and then we'll do two like that. Then when I come over here and save it to memory cell four, when I come over here and come read it from memory cell four, you can see that this input has been saved to the fourth memory cell and has come to the output. And then if I were to turn this off, you can see that it's been saved to the memory. So now the reason I said this was a prototype is because I really hate how long it takes for the input to get to the memory cell and from the memory cell to the output. As you can see, this is the only memory unit. Like everything is stored within this tiny, tiny area. So this huge swath of green to the left and this huge swath of green to the right is just for enabling and reading. It was surprisingly challenging to create good buses so that I could write and read to the memory cells. I'm sure there's better ways to read and write, but it works and is a step towards future projects. So there, ladies and gentlemen, is your introduction into 2x2 Redstone Hex Memory. If you enjoy content like this, then make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I'm CT5K, and I'll see you in the next one.